friend Crazy Eddie publishes the Paranoid Times, a website devoted to documenting our ongoing battle against an alien invasionary force known as the Gua. 
Every week we get more and more emails from others who believe the unbelievable. That the aliens are here to take over our planet. One of our readers, Robbie Harlock, emailed us repeatedly about the bizarre death of Carson McAuliffe during the pool party here in Normal, Illinois. The email bore similarity to Quatrain 66, Century 7. Where the waters are contained, nature's course is obstructed, and youth imprisoned by devil's lightning, whose use shall tame the rival's ardor. In my recent experiences, following up emails can be risky business. But I know our network of believers is starting to grow. And sometimes, the risk is worth it. That's what brought me to a place called normal. Come on, Nelly. Lucky you. You must be Robbie. And you're Cade Foster. I recognize you from your wanted poster on the net. I'm sure Eddie briefed you on the absolute need for secrecy. Listen, I've been following your journals every week, man. You are right on the money. There are aliens here, no doubt about it. Carson McAuliffe, you knew him? Uh, sorta. And you think his death was caused by some kind of alien experiment? Well, I, I didn't actually see it, but I was at the party where he died. I heard about his face, just went electric all of a sudden. I called the coroner's office and I'll report you. Yeah, right. Don't you watch the X-Files? Sorry, I don't. Yeah. Well, the report will tell you that he died of pneumonia or something regular like that. Listen, man. Nobody talks about it, right? But there's a lot of strange stuff going on in normal. Carson's not the first kid to die freaky. There were others? Oh, yeah. Well, nobody that I knew, but, uh... My folks were talking about it. A couple other normal, healthy kids that just bought it. Just like Carson. Okay, Robert, let me look into it. Is there somewhere in town we can meet later? Somewhere we could avoid the cops? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, Rogers Park. Nobody ever goes down there. Okay, I'll meet you there around noon. Okay. here. Do you realize what that means? That means that there's actually aliens in normal. What's wrong with you? I'm sure there's probably extraterrestrial life somewhere in the universe. But here in normal? Come on, Robbie. It sounds like a really bad movie. Um, but Carson's death it was weird and you know it. I didn't love you. I would definitely have you committed. Please don't tell anyone you believe in aliens. They'll think you're out of your mind. Oh, that, that is the Cade Foster dilemma in a nutshell. I mean, you tell people how it is and they tell you that you're crazy. Why can't you let the cops handle this? As if the cops are going to listen to me. You are a freak. <laughs> Why do you love me? Because I don't know anybody else like you. You're weird. 
a smile. And because when you look at me, you make me feel like I'm the only girl on the planet. Mr. Bennett, listen, I can explain, okay? You little pervert. Dad. I told you before I did not want you in this house. You stay away from her, or so help me God, I will make you regret Dad. it. Why'd you just barge in? You are living in my house. And as long as you are here, it is my responsibility to protect you. The kid Robbie was right. Four kids die of natural but very unusual causes, all linked to neurological malfunction. Any other connections? Well, according to those articles, they were among the best and the brightest. They were good looking, top athletes, popular. The kind of kids that used to make me puke. Hey, have a little respect, would you? Oh, sorry. There's another thing, too. Ah, uh, the local coroner was quoted as saying that two of the kids had procaine in the system. Cocaine? No, procaine. It's, uh... It's an ester composed of PABA and diethylamino ethyl. Both are water-soluble B vitamins. They affect nerve functions in the prefrontal cortex. Is it... is it normal to have procaine in the system? Well, our bodies have plenty of B-complex vitamins, but uh, procaine isn't one of them. Is it toxic? Only in huge quantities. Uh, it's generally administered through water absorption. Nostradamus said, where the waters are contained, nature's course is obstructed. Could be talking about the town's water supply? That's a good place to start. I'll take some samples all over town. Want to check? How about you? I'm going to go talk to my pal, Robbie. Wait, are you sure you can trust him? Don't worry, Eddie. He's as paranoid, antisocial, and downright weird as you are. I like him already. Okay, listen, I got some good news. I talked to Sandra, uh, Carson's girlfriend, the one who saw him die. She agreed to meet with us at my girlfriend's house. Nice work. Yeah, listen, uh, we gotta go. We don't have much time. Why, is there a problem? Yeah, Laura's dad. Not a big fan of mine. <laughs> and stuff. 
And then all of a sudden he went berserk. Berserk? It was like he got plugged into an electric socket. There was this buzzing electricity all over his face. Was there anything else? Anything Carson said? Anything he did? I started to feel bad. You were having second thoughts? No. No, I wanted him. I wanted to make love, but we needed to stop. Why? The headaches. They seem to start when things get hot. So you asked him to stop. And he didn't. He was so turned on. He just kept on kissing me. And touching me. And then he... I read some of his journals. I think my dad's an alien. <laughs> Your dad is a jerk. He's not an alien. How do you know? Uh, okay, you remember that uh, barbecue that we had just before your, your mom passed away? Your dad cut his hand and it bled for like two hours. So? Well, aliens heal instantaneously. It's, it's one of the ways you can tell that they're gua. Okay, so maybe he's not an alien. But he is a jerk. <laughs> yes. Is that your dad? He wasn't supposed to be home till later. Oh, we gotta go, like, now. Seriously, it's your dad, man. We gotta go now. Are you okay? What the hell is going on, Laura? I'm gonna need your help, Robbie. Yeah, whatever you need, bud. Talk to your friends, see if any of them are having any problems. Problem? Boyfriends, girlfriends, sex, see if you can make some kind of connection. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. I can't ask someone about that. Come on, I'm gonna come off like a total dork. What am I supposed to say? Hey, man, how was it going in the sack last night? I mean, come on, you're gonna punch me out. Hey, listen, I don't know these kids. You do. Let me ask you something. Sure. Why do you do it? Do what? This. The, the journals and everything else. I mean, you gotta know that 9 out of 10 people think that you're totally insane. And besides that, with your past murder rap, you're just asking to get caught and tossed into jail for life. I'm trying to prove my innocence. How do you prove something that most people can't see? Why do you believe they're here? Because there's crazy stuff going on, man. You know, because I believe in you. Well. Until you and I get some proof, then we're both insane. Well, listen, I'm going to go talk to some people. Okay, and uh, we'll see what I can do. Hey, Robbie. Thanks, you've been a great help. Well, let's know what I find out. Foster, how'd it go? I talked to the girlfriend. The way she described it, the kid had some kind of a meltdown while they were fooling around in bed. Like his death was triggered by lust. Well, if sexual desire is lethal, then I'm a goner. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Eddie. What did you find with the water samples? I ran a basic test. Got a big fat zero. There's no procaine in the town's water supply as far as I can tell. I don't get it, Eddie. 
Sandra talked like the kid got electrocuted, and you're talking about some drug called procaine. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, well, that's where you're wrong, my dear Watson. I'm listening, Sherlock. Procaine facilitates a transfer of electrical ions when it's absorbed into the bloodstream. Maybe that's the devil's lightning Nostradamus was talking about. If the human brain absorbs enough procaine, it will literally become a superconductor for electricity. But how did Carson get the procaine in his system? And how is electrical current delivered in such a high voltage that it killed him? Well, that's what we got to find out. We got to get a hold of the coroner's report, see if there's anything about Carson McAuliffe we don't know. Not going to be easy. Oh, when is anything we ever do easy? All right, I'll talk to you later. You think I'm being unreasonable, Laura? Yes. When you get older, you'll understand. I don't see what getting older has to do with anything. It's not right you destroy your future because some boy wants to get his hands all over you. I can take care of myself. I don't think you can. It's sad what happened to Carson, but Sandra learned her lesson. For every action, there are consequences. Isn't that right, Sandra? Yes, Mr. Bennett. You have to learn to control yourself. When I say I don't want that boy here again, I mean it. If I see him here again, I'm calling the police. Southern Illinois Medical Examiner's Office. I'm looking for Dr. Crane, the coroner. That's me? What can I do for you? I was wondering if you'd finished your report on Carson McAuliffe, if I could take a look at it. Do you have an official request form or written permission from the family of the deceased? No, I don't. And you're out of luck. You make reports available only after the state's attorney gives approval. I know the family. I was just passing through town and thought maybe you might make an exception. No exceptions. I understand. Sorry to bother you. Have a nice day. What happened to the other reports I sent to your office? What other reports? There were three other reports. Each involved teenagers. Each specified an abnormal cause of death. Carson McAuliffe was the fourth. I don't think I saw those reports. They were sent to the police and then to the medical examiner. Young people in perfect health don't usually die of brain aneurysms. That's how Carson McAuliffe died? That's what I'm putting in my report. I don't know what else to call it. If you didn't see the reports, then you didn't see the uh, cranial extracts. What is it? Unknown origin. Part organic. Part mechanical. I found one in the medulla oblongata of each of the four victims. Where are the other three samples? You tell me. I made inquiries. I sent dozens of letters. Nobody seems to know what's happened to them. I see. Would you mind if I took this sample and had it examined independently? Absolutely, I do mind. That extract isn't leaving this lab. Well, thanks for your help. I'll see what I can do on my end.
Hello, uh, I'm calling about a Simon Easterly. Says he works for you? Yeah, that's right, Easterly. We're on to something, Eddie. The coroner? Yeah, these kids died of brain aneurysms, or at least that's what the report said. They all had some kind of device in their head. What part of their head? Damn it. I knew you were going to ask that. The, uh... Oh, the oblong something. The medulla oblongata. It's prefrontal cortex associated with the hypothalamus gland. What does that mean? We're talking about hormones, Foster. We all know that teenagers are all about hormones. Gotta go, Eddie, please. Mr. Easterly. Yeah. You mind popping down to the station with me, please, sir? I've got a few questions for you. about your occupation so maybe you're lying about your name too no I'm Simon Easterly okay Simon if you don't work for the medical examiner who do you work for I'm a private investigator I work for the attorney who represents the dead boy's family for insurance purposes. Kid dies young. Parents want to know if someone's at fault. And what's your take? Sorry? Who's at fault? Well, it's hard to say at this point. You want some coffee? Yeah. What do you expect to find at the coroner's office? I was just doing a little check. Seems that Carson McAuliffe wasn't the only kid in normal to have died under unusual circumstances. What do you know about that? Just what I read in the papers. Four kids. All perfectly healthy. Cut down on their pride. Medical examiner said the causes were brain aneurysms. Yeah. Well, brain aneurysms generally affect people over the age of 60. Besides, these kids all had some kind of strange device in their heads. That sound natural to you? No. No, it doesn't. From what I've heard, Carson's death was pretty strange. The coroner agrees. Said the reports weren't properly processed by the medical examiner. I see. You investigate these other deaths? Yeah, I did. It was a real puzzle. Look, I'm going to let you off with a warning this time. But from here on in, you better be up front with me as to why you're here. I will. Thanks. One more thing. If you find anything strange, you talk to me first. Come on, I'll run you back to your car. I know this is weird, right? But I got to ask you about uh, you and Jill. When you guys are making out or, or whatever, do you uh, ever experience any pain or anything like that? Headaches. I know it's a personal question. I just... Headaches. When you and Sarah... Headaches. You too. Hold on! What are you doing? I'm leaving. What does it look like? You're not going anywhere. 
You can't stop me. Don't test me. Ever since Mom died, you've been different. I hate living here. Why? Because I want to keep that little punk away from you? Robbie. His name is Robbie. I know something isn't right here. What are you talking about? Right now, he's trying to find out what really happened to Carson. We know what happened to Carson. He was fooling around with that friend of yours and had a brain aneurysm. No. Something's weird, and I know it. And so does Robbie. He's got Kate Foster looking into it. Stay away from Robbie. Go to hell! You little slut! Oh! <laughs> What are you staring at? Oh, my God. You are staying in this room until I get back. Or you are going to be very sorry. No! Foster, I heard Officer Holden report on the police scanner. I thought for sure you were a goner. I caught a break, Eddie. Holden bought my cover. Maybe a little too easy. He didn't even run a print check or anything. You think he's involved with this somehow? Well, my gut says he's human. But the coroner's report had to go through the police and the medical examiner. Somewhere down along the line, those cranial devices went missing and the reports were mishandled. Well, after I told you about the hormones, I went back and checked the newspaper articles. And? The first kid died in the back row of a local movie house, and two others died on the viewpoint of Old Country Road, Lover's Lane. And Carson died in a bedroom with his girlfriend. They were all having sex. Or at least trying to. What's this about? Trying to stop teens from doing the nasty? Maybe they need uh, virgins for some kind of experiment. Well, maybe it was something to do with population control, Eddie. Or a weapon? Get horny? Get fried? Nostradamus had it right. Nature's course is obstructed. Fair youth destroyed by devil's landing. The procan in that device stopped sexual urges to a point of death. Yeah, but what did he mean by whose use shall tame the rival's ardor? I don't get it. We gotta get a closer look at that device, Eddie. Run some tests. Yeah, but we're going to need a fully operational lab for that. I can't do that here. We have one. The coroner's office. Oh, come on, man. What if we get caught? Don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll... we'll wait until later to use it. How late? Like next year? I'll meet you there. I want to talk to you. Hello, Mr. Bennett. I'm all ears. I've known you for a long time, John. I need your help. Sure, what's wrong? Laura and I had a big argument today. She wants to leave home. I suppose that's natural in teenagers. It's all about that boy, Robbie Harlock. Well, boys are pretty natural, too. I like this one. He's been talking to a private investigator. Yeah, I know about him. He was in my office earlier. His name's Simon Easterly. Laura said his name was Foster. This man has been hanging around with a teenage boy. They've been harassing my daughter. I want you to find out who he is and make sure he stays away from my house. I'll get a restraining order.
Great, where's the device? Take it easy, Andy. She's right. Nostradamus said that youth would be destroyed by the devil's lightning. I'm thinking exactly. Technically, teenagers' hormones would react to the procaine. Any increase in hormonal activity might trigger this puster. Could it kill you? Possibly. This is all speculation. But this organic matter might be used to create a link with the existing brain tissue. The mechanical portion will give it the buzz. And that's where the procaine comes into it. Right. right. Let's try a little experiment around. Right. Listen to me, listen to me. Your mother died in that car accident, but your father wasn't even injured, so maybe that's when the aliens substituted a clone. You're making a mistake. Is that so? Mr. Easterly, or whatever your name is, you got kids dying in your town. I'm just trying to find out why. Mm -hmm. Is that why you're breaking into county property? To try and find evidence. What kind of evidence? Take a look at that, man. Bobby, Phil, Marine, Diane, Susan. They all got headaches? Yeah, every single one. But you don't, do you? Well, sure, so I'll hope not. The coroner found that in Carson McAuliffe's head, the same device was found in all four cases. What do you think it is? It seems to deliver messages to the brain controlling sexual impulses. And how does it do that? By sending out a powerful signal, possibly enough to electrocute the victim. It's in a solution of water and procaine. 
Vice needs the procaine to activate it. And where do you find this procaine? It's manufactured commercially. I mean, where do these kids find it? I'm not sure. It's generally administered through water absorption. The town's water supply is tested negative. Damn it, I'm such an idiot. The swimming pool. Carson died at a pool party at minutes. Let's go. Come on, Laura, let's go. Hold on. Considered you a prime test subject. Tonight I was going to change. Just get a sample and go. Be cool, Eddie. That's your department. Do what? Laura's <laughs> parents. You didn't just die in a car accident, did they? You had something to do with it. We are going to drill into your medulla oblongata, Robbie, and then we are going to insert one of these little items into the cortex. And finally, regular procaine absorption. You should be happy. We're going to be seeing a lot of each other at the pool. Foster. It's one thing to experiment on humans with that device. 
but not on us. I can't let that happen. Why didn't you kill me? Why didn't you tell the others? Why'd you help us? You were tracking me. I was just doing my job. Providing backup for Bennett. That's right. Why would you help me? I've chosen to fight against our mission. What does that mean? Our force is poised to destroy humanity. It's coming soon. There will be millions of us on this planet. Our leaders are worried that we'll be consumed by human passions. Fair youth destroyed by devil's lightning. Whose youth shall tame the rival's honor. You're the rival. Most devices are being tested on humans, but they are meant for us to control us in our human form, to keep us from having sex with each other. That's the irony, Foster. We were testing a device to use on ourselves. This is where it all happens, huh? Cool. Yeah, this is it. Alien Command Central. This is so cool. <laughs> Glad you like it. So how you doing, Robbie? Mm, well, I went to the doctor. He said there wasn't a trace of anything, so... Yeah, I guess I'm okay. Laura's okay, and so is everybody else. That's good. Uh, yes and no. There is a self-destruct mechanism built in. 
Our evidence has been evaporated. No proof, okay. I guess that means that we're still insane. A core of believers is growing. And perhaps a core of Gua who will fight their own leaders. Against an invasion that seems ever closer to becoming a reality. My journey is long. And sometimes the path seems without an end in sight. But then something comes along to remind me that our efforts are slowly getting results. And I feel we might be moving towards our goal. To defeat the Gua. And bring things back to normal. <laughs>